Welcome to Blue Water How To. Today we're going to rig up a deep drop rig to use for grouper, tilefish, and other similar deep water species. So, in order to get that done today, we've got a pair of pliers, uh, crimper, uh, circle hooks, some three way swivels, these little crimp protectors that are glow in the dark, and crimps. We're going to be using 300 pound line. You don't really need to use quite that heavy, but stiff line is good to help your rigs uh, avoid tangling in uh, uh, on the trip down to the bottom. So we'll start today with the top of our rig. We're going to put a crimp on. and a large swivel to attach to our main line. When you do the crimp, make sure the edge of the crimp sticks out a little from the side of your crimping tool so that when you crimp, and this is gonna take two, What you end up with is a nice crimp that's flared a little at either end. That's the proper way to get a crimp done. So I'm using these three-way swivels. This is my, my top of my deep drop rig. And again, just gonna rig that up. Drop it in the crimp, crimping tool, oops. And again, you've got a nice clean crimp. All right, you have a bunch of lines here already pre-cut, so let me get the right ones. Now, from the top of the rig down to where the first hook's gonna sit, I've got about uh, two and a half, feet in there, so it's not real long way. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, now this is going to be between the first hook and the second hook. And here I'm using a little bit more leader material uh, just to spread those hooks out a little bit, but they don't have to be too far apart. So we've got about three and a half feet, four foot of line in between. So that just goes to another one of the three-way swivels. This is Tiny back here. He's, he's taking a little nap while we work on our, on our deep drop rig. It apparently doesn't get him all that excited. He prefers the fish when they come up to all the preparatory work. Okay, so that's our first segment. Here on the top of the first segment, what we'll do is we're gonna take a short piece of leader material here. We're gonna attach that to the side of our three-way swivel. So now you've got the main line running up to the rod, the drop that goes to the next hook set, and here's our little leader that goes off the side for our first hook. Now we're gonna use one of these little glow-in-the-dark crimp protectors. Uh, two reasons for this, one, three maybe. One is that it glows in the dark, uh, which is good down there in deep water. Uh, the second and more important in my mind is it helps stiffen up the line where your hook's gonna sit, um, which helps keep you from tangling when you're dropping down 800 feet. 
and uh, lastly is chafe protection on the line so if what you catch has big teeth uh, it'll help protect the line from getting damaged. We got some proper hooks here. So depending on what you're fishing for you may want different size hooks but good solid hooks I like rather than uh, light wire hooks so you don't want to bend them because it's pretty uh, pretty heavy pull usually. So we're gonna crimp this one up on here. I got way too much line on this. So there we go. So you're just making a short little jumper off the side there. You can use larger hooks or smaller hooks depending on what you're fishing for. Um, I'm not sure exactly what size this hook is here, but kind of a medium sized circle hook. We'll trim off the excess there. And so again, you've got your line on the top that runs up to the rod. Off the side, a little dropper rig for your bait, and then the line that runs down and goes to the next swivel. So we'll put another dropper rig off here with another hook, a line here down to the next swivel, and put a third hook on. You can do three hooks, four hooks, five hooks, whatever you want. Most of the time it seems like the, the baits that get hit are the ones closest to the bottom. Uh, so I, I think three hooks is, is plenty. Okay, so now we're down at the bottom of the rig and what we're going to do here is we're just going to use a cross lock swivel at the bottom so that we can add a weight at the bottom of the rig. So now down at the very end, I've got my cross lock swivel. I have a weight. This weight doesn't have a hook on it, so I just tied a piece of mono through the top of the weight. You rig your weight down on at the bottom. Now, you can also put a weight at the top of your rig, a heavier weight at the bottom, lighter weight at the top, uh, particularly if you're fishing for tile fish, because then you can lay the rig down more on the bottom. Uh, you're gonna get all your tile fish bite pretty much on the bottom. So that gets more of the hooks in the bite zone. Um, when you're fishing for snapper or grouper, uh, no weight on the top, uh, get you to cover a little more of the water water column down at the bottom. Also, uh, the saying goes, no light, no bite. So you want to put at least one light on your line. You can use these uh, light sticks, disposable light sticks, uh, and you can clip them on the top and bottom of your rig or tape them to the line, to the leader, uh, top and bottom. Uh, there's also... Uh, I have this light that I is a little LED light um, that's pretty cool. Uh, another little drop light here that I purchased pretty inexpensive. But what I use the most and really like are these little Duralite diamond fishing lights. Uh, and they're essentially disposable. Um, they, they are water activated. You put them in the water, it creates the electrical connection and turns them on. Um, this one is a, a green light, um, but I have green, I have blue, I have, uh, oh, that one see is working right there because my finger is making the connection. Um, this one's a disco light and goes through all different colors. I kind of like those. Um, one thing I would say about these, I'm not sure why, but I get a lot of duds when I buy these. Um, but cost wise, you can buy like four or five of these. Um, for what it would cost to buy another kind of drop light. And if you occasionally are going to lose one on the bottom uh, or have it uh, corrode or, or whatever the case might be, uh, I just think that's a, a cheaper, better way to go. So here we have our final rig up here. We have our swivel that goes up to the main line. This is where you would attach your first deep drop light. Then down here just a little bit, your first dropper hook. Down the way, your second one. A little further down, your third one. Down below that, I put your Siloom stick uh, 
taped onto there or another another deep drop light and then down here finally your deep drop weight and you're good to go so get your rigs put together get out there and catch them up